combines valued at $95,000 a piece move through a field, separating peas from pods. filling countless trucks. Pouring into the Jones Normal Processing Plant in Weston, over a million pounds a day, graded on the tenderometer, carefully culled by hand, destined for dinner tables around the world. Expensive machines everywhere, but behind them, the harvest king of peas. I've harvested Probably more peas than probably any other one man alive. I've harvested over half a million acres of peas in my outfit. Melvin Lyons has been harvesting peas for over 50 years. Each season adds to his acreage total and takes him further from his roots. <laughs> when I was 12, we'd done all of our combining with horses. All I can say is that I guess that I was born about 50 years too early because I'd just love to be a kid again to start on this stuff. But being young and starting a family farm is almost impossible amongst the corporate giants who spend up to $2,000 an acre to transform the desert to a field full of peas. But no, there is no way, no way that uh, a middle-aged man can come in on what they call a family-sized farm in this area, which is 2,000 acres, develop it, and live long enough to ever get out of debt. Even the corporations are having trouble getting out of debt. Lyon says most of the large corporate farms he works for are losing money. The old pro of pea harvests has some advice for anyone interested in agriculture. If I had the money to develop this land, say I had the money to develop even a thousand acres at two thousand dollars an acre, do you think I'd do it? <coughs> no, I'd put that money into in savings or the bank and live off in the seven percent interest. I mean, you'd be crazy to come out and do this. Crazy or not, the pea harvest continues. This is Bill Bradbury reporting from a pea field across the Columbia River from Umatilla, Oregon.